A protest group called Barrio Defense Committee is helping families who claim they have been falsely accused of child abuse or neglect. Cronkite News reporter Alexis Dominguez gives us a look into why the families are trying to make others aware of their cases. Families gathered in front of the Phoenix Children's Hospital and marched to the Department of Child Safety to protest. Parents claim that the Department of Child Safety, formerly known as Child Protective Services, took their kids away on false accusations of neglect, abuse and abandonment. They still can't give a concrete reason as to why they took them away. They just closed the case for negligence and abandonment. I cry because we feel helpless, like there is no one to listen to us. DCS came to my home to make a report, but the first thing they asked was what my legal status was. Rhonda Baldwin, a social worker at the Phoenix Children's Hospital, says it is a common misconception that employees at the hospital are at fault. We don't have any kind of part of the investigative process. We're all, as mandated reporters, we're mandated by law to report if we believe that a child may be at imminent risk. Baldwin says they work to have clear information on why they are reporting a case to DCS. We provide to the hotline the information that we have, our reasonable belief about why we're calling. I mean, it tells you right on the hotline, if you call in a frivolous report, there can be repercussions for that. In a statement, a representative from DCS said they do a child safety and risk assessment that is completely objective and that leads to a determination of whether or not a child needs to be removed from home. In Phoenix, Alexis Dominguez, Cronkite News. Other families we spoke to have yet to get custody of their children back and are still seeking to get reunited sometime soon. Families are meeting with DCS representatives on Thursday to discuss their cases.